Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for upcoming next four weeks. And this is going to be about money, career, and financials, and all that good stuff, the materials that you want to manifest. We're going to check to see what's coming your way. And this reading is intended for sun, moon, and rising sign. If you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can go ahead and book your reading from there. I also want to thank every single one of you for being an amazing support to the channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading. Let's see what is coming your way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see like in your heart, maybe there is a question. There is something that you're questioning. You're trying to get answers for. It can be regarding an offer. I see a cup here. Somebody's holding the cup or it can also be like a um, golden bowl, I feel. And there is a person inside of it. Okay. Um, this can even be like an offer. Okay um that is coming from someone in power and i see that you're feeling excited about it okay um i want to check to see what's inside of your heart here okay let's see i see there's a woman here initially two women having a conversation one of them maybe have like a flower on top of her head this can be symbolizing her creativity or maybe even like um, looking at a baby. We can see this is like a swaddled baby that she's actually taking care of. The baby can be symbolizing a new source of abundance because it is like um, seen in many cultures, babies are actually a source of abundance. It is um, known that they come with their own uh, wealth and opportunities. They bring the, their own wealth with them. So uh, this can be a person, maybe she's actually looking at somewhere else, maybe some uh, thing in your heart that has uh, the power to manifest your heart's desire, but you're not really looking at that, you're looking something else. And maybe the treasure that you're looking for is in front of you and uh, you're looking outside of yourself, okay? Um, this can mean actually maybe you have um, basically an opportunity coming forward or maybe this can be a person that you can form partnership with uh, opening up maybe connecting with you or maybe like you have the idea of finding your perfect position perfect place and uh, but it is in front of you that you are not maybe looking at you're not maybe realizing recognizing the opportunity which is not a negative thing because the opportunity is still in front of you so it seems like here you're gonna come to realize and recognize that okay there's a pathway opening here within the third week and I see um, a person right there, male figure waiting for you and there's an eye, like this kind of looks like an eye when I look at this way. So there can be someone who has their eyes on you already if you are actually in search of something and um, there's some companies maybe they have you on their list or like if you have sent out resume, they might be reviewing your things or you are on like a review right now. So it seems like it is gonna be finalizing soon and you're gonna be hearing about this. I even see like two legal papers, kind of like a tower here in the middle. Looks like an Eiffel Tower, but it doesn't have to, like it, it's not really like has that metal structure. However, I'm gonna interpret this in the sense of like a high position that you're gonna be manifesting. Okay, but before that, there is going to be some things that you need to be settling down. I see that you're sitting in front of like an across from someone. Let me be like discussing something or again, I see uh, an axe here. Okay, axe can be symbolizing a tool that uh, is you're going to be given. And uh, but this has two ways. This can be actually used for chopping wood. So you can they would consider the wood as actually like your future abundance that you're going to be putting on the side and this can be used for that or you can actually destroy something with it so you need to be taking very 
cautious uh movements actions with that like you should be acting in an impulsive way maybe you should be very systematic while you're taking action towards that goal that you have with a tool in your hand okay another person i see here there's a woman standing okay you can see the hair is actually like a darker hair and her mouth is covered with something this can be but she has a butterfly next to her uh, this can be your energy this can be a woman in your life who has this uh, metamorphosis they're going through something okay and this can be you going through something as well and it feels like here that is coming to an end that is going to be a final which is an op like a positive thing because even though it is actually a hard thing that you're coming over the butterfly symbolizes that it is going to change you for the better okay it's going to put you in a position of power I see there are three people here. They kind of look like teeth as well when I look at it, or maybe like a skewers here. So there's a lamb on top. This can be a sacrifice that you need to make, okay? The sacrifice can be uh, something that you need to give up, lesser of a value, in order to get something higher of a value. Think of this as like a negative habit that you have. Maybe um, there's leakage in your energy field which is money is an energy we don't really see it as an energy we see it as a paper pap like a piece of paper uh, that we use to buy things however it carries an energy okay because like you see when a country goes down their money turns into paper it doesn't worth anything it's the meaning that people actually putting in there and it seems like here uh, maybe with the money, you need to be making a sacrifice. The sacrifice doesn't have to be you spending the money. Maybe the sacrifice can be you uh, giving up, uh, spending your money on the things that you don't need. Okay, starting to put it on the side rather than buying the tent shoe, uh, putting that money on the side and maybe buying uh, something valuable, which is going to worth money over centuries. Okay, so it can be something like that. Um, you can actually like there are many tools of investments out there uh, but you know I was actually watching this energy co coach a couple years ago and she was recommending buying a gold okay buying um, I mean grams of gold or maybe like a gold coin like hundred like 24 uh, carat co gold and she says that is actually a very good attractor of abundance into your life because that is just you know that illuminates that abundance okay so it can be like a little way of actually putting things on the side and that grows that grows bigger by time and that actually starts to accumulate more and track more into your life if like that's a good advice so she was actually uh like an abundance coach which is in a has been through a lot and that's the way she discovered like without saving Without putting things on the side, you cannot actually accumulate things because you're giving the energy to the money while spending every penny comes through. It's like, oh, okay, I don't want you in my life energy. So, I mean, that can be the lamp here on the secure. That can be what you're giving up, okay? Maybe the extra things that you are actually doing, spending on, okay? Uh, this is like a general advice, so it doesn't have to apply to you. Maybe you're going after something much bigger. And in that case, it doesn't have to be like that little bit of things. It can be something much bigger, okay? So definitely, maybe you need to take advice. Maybe you have been going with your own mind all the time. Maybe you need like a professional advice at this time. That can be the sacrifice also, okay? It is opening two different pathways for you. And I see there's actually, this kind of looks like a dog. I was going to say because of tall face, but it looks like a dog here. And dog can be symbolizing, it reminds me of like this, a type of hound, which like very skinny with a long skinny face. Um, I don't remember the, what kind it was, but yes. Yeah, so this can be someone very loyal. The hound, actually, they know how to hunt. So this can be someone with a lot of experience of like growing money, making money. It can also be, if you're looking for a job, a recruiter who can put you in a very good place, okay? I see this is actually opening a pathway for you and bringing three different contracts here. And when you follow that guidance, this person's guidance, probably you're going to be actually reaching to this, um, you know, this person. 
this looks like a male figure's head and you're in front of it this can be you as well if you're running a business maybe you need someone solid to work with you or maybe you want to be that someone solid to work with a big company a big place you're in front of here there's going to be a negotiation happening but it's not going to last too long they're going to put the contract in front of you right away so this is going to be something that is actually very lighthearted. It is going to be something coming lightly. So think of the way that if something is coming hard, this cannot be it. If you have to work so hard, put so many hours in, and if you're not getting the recognition, this might be something else, okay? Like I said, towards the end of the month, I see kind of like an Eiffel Tower kind of a structure, which is metal. Uh, this might require a little bit of strength from you. I see a letter A here. This can be like a challenge that you're going to take on. However, it actually helps you plant this new seeds of uh, growth here. I see there is actually a plant. This kind of reminds me of a dandelion initially. And uh, they are used for wish fulfillment. You know, like they say, make a wish and blow the dandelion and then the, you know, the, the pieces goes around. So this can be like uh, the whatever it is, when it comes in front of you, when you climb to the top, it is going to give you the ability to make a wish or make a wish come true. Okay, the, uh, the, the wish, the desire that you have is going to, uh, the pathway will be opening for that one, okay? Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. I see so light energy, such a light energy, and whatever that you're desiring actually flowing really smoothly and easily. So what comes with this light energy? There is actually a wolf. Somebody's riding the wolf, okay? So this can be like a family. Wolf travels in packs, actually. Um, there's a wolf pack. I see another one here. So... Um, what happens is today i was watching something i don't know how true is that wolf packs their families they um older ones are on the front they walk on the front and the younger ones is in the mid behind them and the women and children behind them and then the stronger ones again on the back of the pack so this is telling you that they don't leave anyone behind the oldest ones walk in the front so they can set the pace of the pack because they don't want to leave anyone behind so uh, and they're leaving like the protective ones in the middle in the front this indicates that the, the you know they can actually protect uh, themselves from each side so uh, the wolf can be a family environment like a um, that you're going to be stepping in maybe a company that you're going to be stepping in very well structured and planned okay that's kind of uh, the wolf pack is like remind me that a plan and calculated structure okay which works which works that's why they keep doing the same thing and instinctual also because they do not sit down and strategize this thing on the paper uh, they're not like humans but they have a very effective way for themselves so this can be an environment that they're very structured and good discipline and they have probably uh, they have a good payoff as well like the structure that kind of a structure doesn't really come with that loose kind of like a payment they probably have a lot of good opportunities for you in there and it seems like this kind of like your heart is there you want to be a part of it and you are actually riding inside of this pack okay you are going to be um coming into this pack you're going to be a part of it you're not the wolf you are riding the wolf here so you're not gonna have maybe their nature that much but it's okay because they're gonna embrace you either way okay this can even be about something about money like it doesn't have to be always a company a place that you're working with this can be like uh maybe like family literal family environment maybe they are going through money issues and dealing with money stuff and it seems like you're gonna actually change the um the mood in there if there's actually like a vicious cycle happening okay let's see we have the empress energy empress actually is a taurus and libra and she is the source of abundance by the way she is the main creator she is connected she's the mother earth basically and we have a butterfly right there that symbolizes the metamorphosis that are going through and the bunny right here symbolizes and it's standing on a mushroom double confirmation that it's going to be a fast growing wealth coming your way 
with two of swords indicates that there's going to be a moment of decision okay we have the magician here the alchemist basically the decision is going to lead you to actually a position of power okay because what i see here is the magician has all the tools he has the wand the pentacle the cup and sword in his hand okay so he's he has every necessary tool to make the things that happen your decision moment is going to be actually you saying okay now i'm good to go i want this okay i want this to happen and i'm going to do it. it's the best way possible and then you're going to start do, working on your magic the magic doesn't have to be uh like you know creating something from nothing because the the alchemist actually turns uh, i think metal into gold he doesn't just create gold so you have something in your hand very valuable that you can turn into gold and you're going to be using that we have the world card here the world card indicates that there's a cycle ending in your life and there's going to be a new cycle a new beginning coming forward and uh, so this is actually a very positive thing we have the bull we have the eagle we have the lion so it is going to be extremely powerful also okay because we have all these superpower animals i have four pentacles here you see he has his pentacles he's showing them off but not really spending them so this can be indicative of being extreme going to the extremes in some aspects like i said like the tenth shoe kind of a thing okay so this is uh symbolizes if you're going that way if you're actually overspending or doing something that you shouldn't be doing with your money uh, it's about like being hold on to your pentacles okay do not over you know spend it or this can be also your emotions your time maybe you are actually because you promised favors to everyone uh, you're spending your time energy to just things that they're not going to have anything returned so this can symbolize that that can drain you too much that can actually uh, create this energy leakage so hold on to it do not spend over, like i'm not saying do not help anyone but it is actually first you help yourself then you help the others we have the justice here if there's any legal things that you're going through we have the libra energy it is going to be coming actually aligning this can also be karma so if you're going through any legal cases and stuff maybe there is actually a wrongdoing towards you that is going to be fixed it is the karma is going to actually come back around and um, help you out okay this can be showing up i want to mention that maybe you have like a certain thing happened to you and you're expecting something to come back from that angle but some goodness might come from another part okay karma doesn't have to work always like when you what you put out like what you put out what you get back is for sure that is actually a law however uh karma can be coming paying you from another aspect and they might be losing from another aspect okay it doesn't have to be like always give or take the same thing okay eye for an eye from the certain specific circumstances and situations the payments can be coming from a different aspect okay that's why being gratitude format uh, no matter what comes through actually gets you in the position the the abundance creates more abundance in your life let me cover these up i need to tape all these up this kind of reminded me of evil eyes okay this one that i have right there okay kind of reminded me of that this is the star card this is aquarius this is your energy so you are actually optimistically a, in a very good timeline you're creating a massive great beautiful wealth for yourself wealthy situation and star also indicates it's aligning with the magician whatever the action that you're taking is actually going to have a great payout okay if it's not really showing up right away don't be concerned don't be alarmed because it is going to be coming in a most beautiful way flowing into your life okay the evil eye two eyes kind of reminds me that it is symbolizing you're protected you're being protected and also covered the universe got your back basically we have two moons here this also indicates that you are getting divine guidance okay you're going to be divinely guided towards your goals finally we have the page of wands page of wands can be someone aries d or a sagittarius okay someone with the feeling of adventure they like to venture out 
or this can be you actually stepping into a new adventure taking a leap of faith and also not like the libra energy but in a fire energy the inspiration is going to wash over you and maybe you're going to follow some this um, idea that you have been keep getting and that will be a great adventure it's going to uh, at attach you to a great adventure also a wealthy position I have the Emperor here, again, fire energy with the Aries. This can be symbolizing a leadership position manifesting for you. I have you here as Page of Swords, and that leadership position will give you the opportunity to express your uh, self in the best way possible. Two of Wands indicates uh, it's time to make some plans, okay? Because uh, whatever that you're desiring, wishing, trying to accomplish it. maybe you already completed a cycle now the new adventures are coming your way you have the world in your hand you're going to have the world in your hand and you're going to be able to create whatever that you're desiring what to avoid here we have the seven of wands this is actually telling you if you see like people maybe trying to violate your boundaries and make you force you to do things in a way that you don't prefer to do it's good to have strong boundaries say no to the things that you don't align with this can also be like universe testing you and throwing things at you maybe that is creating challenging situations but handling them in with grace and patience can actually get you to your goal faster because this is the ones the fire energy so this is a situation that is going to be uh, that will pass sooner than you expected to be fair you have the justice and you have kind of like the justice card in this deck here this is oracle wisdom of oracle and um the the scales are balancing out basically if this is a legal thing that you're going through you're probably going to come as victorious here you're going to be coming on top or if this is something uh maybe like a karma you want to you know pay um at, that's also going to be showing up okay the second thing here is we have is peace and the building blocks peace indicates that yes that i feel like this with this uh, the to be fair the justice actually is going to put you in a situation that you're finally going to feel peace okay maybe this is about an um a financial thing or like maybe even a court case that you're dealing with for a long time seems like it's coming to an end it's going to bring massive peace into your life and the building blocks symbolizes that you're going to actually you're going to be able to uh, start anew build something from scratch okay with this maybe compensation that you're getting or through this like you can see the dog bringing an olive branch here it is going to bring some sort of like a resolution for you, which will help you, whatever that you carry, whatever that you grab from there, which will help you start building a new and better future for yourself. Okay, let's see um, what else we have here. The women, the thinking women. This actually represents someone who's very thoughtful and also uh someone who's knowledgeable they're holding uh like a paper like a book in her hand she's actually going to be coming for help okay uh, this is going to be someone that you're going to receive either uh advice about something or um like some sort of expansion that they're going to bring over to your life maybe uh, an idea you know a different type of thinking that you're needing at this moment i have here rest and reju rejuvenation this is telling me that um while you're building blocks i have here the you in the defensive mode you might actually get drained maybe needing more energy and the best way act to actually handle that situation is uh taking care of yourself initially that's very important taking care of yourself taking care of your well-being resting meditating and prayer is actually a way that uh, i go after a prayer is actually a very effective way and let me see what else we have here okay we have the patience and this wanted to come out cornucopia the horn of plenty this is telling me, okay, uh, while you are resting, the patience will come with it, I guess, because 
um, maybe you're going after a goal, you have like a, something specific in your mind. And this lady is holding a coin actually here. Let me see. Okay, it's a clock. Um, it's like 10 by 10, 10. So it is a good sign that like the patience, the more you feel balanced, the patience, this kind of reminds me of the temperance energy. Uh, the more you're going to be attracting into your life, the, the easily the things will come. And I have the cornucopia, the hoard of plenty. This is basically telling you the patience and the... Um, is going to create the space within you in order for you to actually manifest this heart's desire that you have okay it's going to have um i think there was one of like this um teachers that i was listening one day he says if you have like a small jar a capacity to uh fill up a small jar that's how much the universe like it would uh, even the universe that pours over you the abundance you can only fill up the small jar but if you have a big bottle or a big uh, bucket that you can fill up when it comes to financials the amount of that you can take the universe will fill that up as well okay because uh, the universe abhors a vacuum it just fills it up right away so uh it's about like maybe the patience is necessary in order to expand your ability to receive maybe like if this is you can tell this from uh like uh, what would happen this is a question that all of the abundance teachers says like what would you do with a million dollars and if you think about it if you start to allocate it and it just starts to give you anxiety means that you don't really have the capacity to take it because it just makes you feel anxious and you can start with a smaller number if that gives you anxiety okay so that can that's a test that you can try you know today and see like how would that feel to have that much money okay and but the corner copy says the more you expand that amount that the more that you feel comfortable with the universe is ready to deliver it to you okay i have here the wise woman and the owl which symbolizes intuition this kind of reminds me of keyhole as well and there's an eye right there all watching eye actually is a good sign don't be imprisoned by your past create a brand new you hold that vision this is actually vision can be that expansion that you have in your mind that you want to have in your life spend time reclaiming your balance there you will find peace like i said here this really reminds me of um the temperance the temperance energy is um sagittarius again fire energy however she has this peace over her she does everything slowly and she brings balance to the situation also she does things in moderation doesn't rush um doesn't like try to get to the end right away because at the end everybody's gonna go like nobody's gonna be staying here forever uh as in like a material sense but you know but you know that whatever is meant for you is always coming to you and like claiming your balance like finding that sweet spot within you and having patience will actually bring you the plenty that you are wanting okay and another thing like be, make sure like you're focusing on the things that you want i actually have two different animal deck today that i want to pull from the first one we have here spirit animal here this is spirit animal this is spirit animal animal spirit okay and grasshopper spirit tells you take a leap of faith so this actually can be about the patience as well maybe you are always impatient about things and you like to rush things in your life but this time it is telling you take a leap of faith maybe give some time to the things in your hand the projects in your mind and um, maybe even like an idea coming to you an inspiration for you to follow this can be for example if you keep applying to a certain type of companies for a certain type of positions but you come across something that is actually speaking to your soul go ahead and apply messenger serious energy bringing harmony and balance we have so much balance uh coming forward here for you like there's a lot of balance and also justice i want to actually like interpret the, in that sense as well if you're going after like a position or situation if you're wanting in your situation that justice to be served uh that is also going to be showing up here for you okay the second animal spirit we have the spirit animal is probably a protection for you. A grasshopper spirit is protecting you. 
if you're taking a leap of faith it is going to be right there and like because grasshoppers i think they can actually be like they're abundant in nature as well they can come together and organize really fast so can be maybe you being organizing yourself in your life and this is the animal spirit that is uh, also watching over you okay spirit animal this is you grasshopper embodying that deer is the angel basically watching over you here deer energy is i feel like it's the earth energy yes let's see loving intuitive graceful the mother the deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy this energy is available to all creatures regardless of gender but it's especially potent in parents during the first few years, days, uh, they're fully present, nurturing and calm, okay? Their inner beauty radiates and a sense of grace calms the room. A dear personality affects others in this way, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The dear card may appear when a birth or a celebration of new life draws near, or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. When in balance, the dear can actually make you receptive, compassionate and nurturing, when you feel out of balance, it might actually cause you to feel concerned and protective. To bring balance into your life, spend time in nature and maybe some children that can actually make you feel and connected to these higher energies. Children's, uh, children are also a good sign of the abundance of the universe. Like if you're looking for abundance everywhere, like that is another aspect of it. Okay. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.